Hey folks, it's your buddy Jason here, back with part two of our advanced logic circuits for better solar panel trackling. So now, let's get to it. Now in our first video, we set together, set up these memories, our 0.666, our negative 15, our 100, and our zero. And here, we're going to set up our magics, our magics, our maths. So we need two logic maths. We're going to throw those there, and we're going to need two logic min maxes. We're going to go over why here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and set these up. Now, let's go ahead and do some wiring. Now, the wiring, I prefer to label stuff and just kind of wire a lot of stuff together so that I don't have to worry about it, but some people don't like that. Um, so to that end, you know, if you understand the concept, of course, you are free to um, do this however you want. I, I'm just uh, just going to show you the way I do it for right now. So we're going to go ahead here and here, and we're going to need one of these down here. We're going to need one of those there, and then. We will need a bunch of these, if I can get it to turn. Well, we don't really need a bunch of those. Uh, we theoretically could have a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, we theoretically could have a bunch of them. Oh, oh no, I fell off the side. All right, so, uh, basically just to make sure this stuff gets powered, I am going to go ahead and throw uh, that onto here. But usually you can do at least a little bit to save some cable without having to worry about it too much. Okay. I just want to get all this stuff wired together real fast so that we can spend some time going over it when we have sunlight. If not, I'll just use some, you know, editing magic. But frankly, I'd rather, I'd rather do it this way. I'd rather uh, do it without that. So. Let's get these wired up real fast, and if we can do that and get them labeled the way we want in a reasonable amount of time, it's not going to be too much trouble at all. Okay. Okay. We're getting a. Uh, Getting pretty close to what we need to wire to do our logic. And there we go. I think we're set. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up for right now because we'll need it back in a minute. We're going to start doing our, our, our stuff. stuff. So let's go ahead and grab our labeler and let's label these guys. So this is going to be solar angle modified. And this is going to be solar angle multiplier. This is going to be uh, greater than. I always do that. And this is going to be less than. Um, so. Let's see, we're going to take in our, this is our logic reader. We didn't change its name. And we're going to add negative 15, okay? So that's going to give us whatever, minus 15, so 120 minus 15. Over here, we're going to take our solar angle modified and 0.6666, and we're going to multiply those, right? And that's going to give us, you know, two-thirds of our number. So now in here we're going to take in solar angle multiplier and say this is greater than is greater than zero. Okay, so down here we're going to take our 
greater than here, right? Make sure it's less than. We're going to make that 100, okay? So as long as it's greater than 0 and less than 100, it will send out our modifier, all right? Finally, the final piece, we need to set up our batch writer, okay? It has to be a batch writer. Just always remember that because it's easy to get a little confused, right? So I'm going to take this 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 dude over here and we got to wire him real fast, but that won't be a problem. So Oh. <laughs> I always do this. Okay. We're going to get a four-way here because we need to come down and around a couple of times. A couple of. Okay. Now, before we turn this on, we want to make sure that... We, uh, what am I doing? Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. That was crazy, man. That was crazy, man. All right, this needs to be like this. That's my bad. Because we need to be connected to the solar panels. All right, let's get that. All right, so now we're connected to our solar panels. So our output <laughs> is going to be solar panel. And the setting is going to be vertical. All right, and our input is going to be less than. And we turn that on, and that's going to shift our solar panels to where we want them to go. See how, see how this is now greater than 100? Well, its output is actually going to stop at 100. Okay. And the same thing with a negative. So it'll stop it at 100%. And there's a reason for this. Um, I used to do kind of a lazy cheater version of the solar panels. And without these, it was fine in the last patch. On the new patch, they start actually clipping through the bases and everything. So you actually have to have the min-max units for it to work properly. Um without kind of looking nuts and going crazy and losing some power. It is a little too late in the day now to get a really great look at it, so I'm going to use some uh, movie magic and shoot us a little bit forward in time so that we can uh, discuss all this in the daylight. See you in a second. Hey, presto, see, movie magic. And as you can see, our solar panels are in the uh, a little bit above 490. They'll, they'll go between 485 and 500 uh, with this setup, uh, the way that I have it done for uh, most of the day. So let's take a fast look at what we're doing here and see if, uh, see if we can't make a little sense of it. So this comes straight out of our daylight sensor, and it gives us our solar angle. And that solar angle is put into here, and then we drop 15 off of it, and we output that to our math unit here, which multiplies uh, our modified solar angle times 0.666. And once it gets that out, that's two-thirds. Um, once it gets that, it sends it over to our min-max unit that checks that it's greater than zero. From there, it goes, if it is, it sends out the, whatever the number is, and if it is less, it just sends out zero. Now, we send it down here, and it, if it's less than 100, it sends that over. Otherwise, it just sends over 100. And then from our batch writer, we take that number in, we output to all of our solar panels the vertical number that we're getting from here. So, that makes our solar panels uh, a lot more accurate than the easy logic circuit that we were doing before. Um, it just kind of... Uh, it, it just follows uh, along with what we expect the track of the sun or where we expect the track of the sun a lot better. So uh, you, you just get a lot more efficiency out of it this way. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about them. If you have any requests for videos, uh, do the same with that. If, uh, if you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon. Uh, YouTube does not uh, give us money anymore if we don't have a certain threshold. So 
uh, Patreon and Twitch are, are what gets me any sort of revenue, and I would really appreciate it if you considered throwing me a few bucks there or on Twitch. TV, or twitch.tv slash jvmcmaster or patreon.com slash mcmaster. Otherwise, check out my writing on unwinnable.com or quarter to three.com. I want to thank everybody for joining me these uh, for these videos. I love showing uh, this stuff off. Uh, everybody be careful out there. Love you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.